Week one, uh, so excited to uh, continue our discussions and really begin our discussions into event and facility management. Uh, if you watched my introduction, you know that this is uh, a large passion of mine and that I'm just a, a big old events and facilities nerd. I uh, really love uh, everything that goes into to all of those things. Um, you know, For me, um, it was the, the 1996 Olympics when I was seven years old um, here in the Atlanta area being able to go to uh, to eight different events and see all kinds of sports, uh, to see uh, track and field and Michael Johnson break the 200 record, uh, baseball at, at old Atlanta Fulton County Stadium, uh, to see basketball, the the second dream team with uh, Shaquille O'Neal and Penny Hardaway and, and some of those guys, uh, to see uh, random sports like badminton and judo and to just be exposed uh, to, to really the greatness uh, that is the Olympics. And I fell in love uh, with... Uh, that with seeing so many people come together from from so many different backgrounds uh, but to all be there for the the same reason um, and you know i think that we see that you know so so often um, you know if we look at at sporting events um really at any level high school college or professional um you get people from all, all walks of life uh, all kind of different backgrounds uh, sitting there cheering together, um, maybe hugging each other. You know, I don't know anywhere else uh, that I've hugged a random stranger, but, you know, I've done it at a, at a stadium before um, when a great place happened. And so I, uh, you know, just really love uh, what events and facilities bring to people and what they mean to people. In my own life, all of my best memories uh, have occurred at sporting events, uh, you know, whether that was growing up and going to things with my dad or, or going to high school games with um, friends of mine who would become like family really at those football games. Um, and then a, a similar situation in college, guys that I, and girls that I'm still lifelong friends with, uh, we really forged our relationships uh, at sporting events, at, at baseball, football, and basketball games at the University of South Carolina. And uh, to me, that's why I've always worked in this industry. I want to be able to give people uh, those kind of experiences that I have, because what happens at sporting events is really meaningful to a lot of people. Uh, so that's uh, really a, a big reason why I love this area. And as I mentioned uh, a little bit um, in our, our course overview this week, I also love that it touches every other area. You know, academically, um, in my research, um, when I've written about events and facilities, I can do that from a finance perspective, a sport law perspective, um, an organizational behavior perspective. And professionally, it's exactly the same. When I had my jobs in uh, college athletics and, and pro sports, um, I worked with every other department. I worked with our communications, our sports information department, um, our digital media, our um, traditional broadcast media. You know, I managed a lot of, of ESPN and Fox Sports crews. Um, I've worked with um, concessions and compliance, uh, marketing, corporate partnerships. Um, any other department I worked with because our area, events and facilities, touches every other area. Um, and so for me, that's why this is just such a, a vital thing to learn about. Um, even if you aren't interested in working in jobs in this space, understand that you do want to go into sport marketing or sports information. Um, you will be doing uh, a lot of this and working really closely with event facility managers. If you're looking to go into maybe being an SID at a small school, at a school like Midland, at a, at a, at a D2 or an NAIA type school, um, you'll find that, that SIDs, do many of these tasks. They manage the events um, because uh, obviously those schools have smaller uh, departments than uh, Division One schools do. Um, so uh, please, you know, take take the time uh, to understand that this uh, is a, a fairly important topic in sport management uh, that I think will impact uh, the other courses that you've taken or will take and your career. Uh, let's have a great week, guys.